Carson was always a driven and ambitious kid. He worked hard in school and eventually went on to university, where he worked even harder. By the time Carson was 25, he had an amazing job as a research scientist, making over six figures. By the time Carson was 30, he had a beautiful wife and three amazing kids. His life was about as close to perfect as you can get, until the day he got an email from his wife on his lunch hour. She wanted a divorce. She wanted the house, the kids, child support, spousal support. She wanted everything. A few months later, another man was sleeping in his bed, tucking in his kids and watering his perfectly manicured lawn. Carson spent the next year staying in basements, sleeping on couches and renting cheap hotel rooms by the month. He hadn't seen it coming. He still couldn't understand why. He had done nothing wrong. He had done everything she wanted. By the age of 37, Carson's life was a wreck, a horrible, ugly mess. It was around this time that Carson became addicted to self-help books and videos. He spent all his spare time reading and watching everything he could find, but nothing ended up changing. At the age of 39, Carson finally had an epiphany. What if instead of being addicted to self-improvement content, he actually became addicted to self-improvement? on actually improving himself. He began by sitting down and writing out all of his goals, both big and small. He then broke them down into daily and weekly tasks. Finally, he decided to create a day planner on his phone with one question in mind. What would the perfect day look like? He began writing out a detailed itinerary for the perfect day, a day balanced between required work and working on his own goals. He included things like what he would eat and how he would exercise, and the day would end by rewarding himself with an hour of TV and a delectable treat of his choice. He then asked himself, can I live this perfect day for just one day? Do I have the self-discipline to follow this itinerary for a single day? And if I can do it for one day, what if I can do it for the next day? And then the next day, and day by day, brick by brick, he could build himself a better life. And with each perfect day, he would build himself the perfect life. Now obviously not every day looked the same, and he did take days off once in a while. But soon his brain was rewired into insisting upon these new routines. He became addicted to living the perfect day. He became addicted to improving himself. Leveling up and self-improvement became a passion, an obsession, an addiction he didn't mind having. You see, most people work hard early in life and then simply plateau. Eventually, they just kind of float through life, living day by day. If you want to be successful, if you want to recreate yourself and your whole existence, you need to be deliberate. You need to make deliberate choices on how you will live each and every day. These choices will become routines and these routines will become habits. Habits that will rewire your brain and radically change the course of your whole life. Now right around here you might be thinking, that's all fine and dandy but I don't need to write things down. Write it down on paper, on your phone, on a laptop or tablet. Write it down. Plan your perfect day. Include ways you can level up each and every day. And always give yourself some time to relax and unwind and to spoil yourself a bit at the end. As for Carson, it wasn't long before he had doubled his income and purchased a more beautiful home and found out that he preferred dating multiple women to marriage. Always remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was built. And if Carson can do it, so can you. Good luck.